Hey guys, Sarge here. What I want to come and talk to you guys about real quick is an update video for this Craft Holsters. I believe this is their Panther holster, okay? Uh, this is their inside the waistband leather holster, and it's kind of that pancake design with the uh, open top on it, okay? And I've had this holster now for about nine months, so pretty extensive use with it. Um, I've also had a lot of other people test this holster out, and they've all had the same same results I have, nothing but positive with it. This is for my Beretta 92X full size, which I'm currently carrying inside of my Craft Holsters shoulder holster, which the shoulder holster is working out just fine. I'm doing some testing with it. Uh, you guys will see some content of that coming out here soon as well. With this holster, I got it in, uh, like I said, I believe nine months ago. And the week that I got it, I had a course coming in that weekend. Uh, on the initial review of this holster, that student uh, there was a student who was able to use this throughout the entire course. He commented on that first video. So you guys can go check that out and see what his experiences were with it. But um, I gave, he had an issue with his pistol. I gave him my Breda 92X and this holster to go ahead and test out. Let me know what he thought. He had no issues. Okay. My experience with craft holsters has always been positive. I've yet to have a, a holster from them that has fallen apart, uh, that has failed, right? Um, or has just started doing some weird stuff. Okay, I haven't had any of that. Uh, the stitching is flawless. Um, the, the cosmetics of it, there are a couple little nicks and stuff like that, but it's because of me. I mean, I, you know, I use it, so it's going to happen with it, but it is still a very nice looking holster um, from when I first got it. Truly no, no issues with it at all. Uh, one thing that I know a lot of guys don't like is it is a leather holster, and a lot of people talk about that. Man, I only want to carry Kydex. I only want to carry Kydex. I have yet to find a Kydex holster that is anywhere near as comfortable as carrying a leather holster. Okay, um, I get it, that's just me, but man, I have not found one yet. Okay, they are extremely comfortable to carry if you do it, if you do it correctly, right? Uh, for me as well, I will only carry a pistol in a leather holster if it is a double action, single action pistol, if it is a 1911, so single action only, but with a manual safety. Um, or a revolver and that's it. Okay, and those are double action, single action as well or double action only. Um, I will not carry a striker fire pistol inside of a leather holster just because of issues that I have seen. Um, so that's just kind of my, my uh, you know, sargisms with that, okay? But overall guys, the craft holsters, uh, leather holsters are solid. I've had no issues with any of them that I've used. You guys are about to see a lot of content coming out with it. So in this kind of update video, just to let you guys know, the holster is still doing very well. I carry it, I would say out of a week, I probably use this holster two times. So two days out of a week, this holster is getting carried, no issues, no problems with it. Um, and those other times I'm still carrying again, I'm just using a different setup. So, you know, that's it guys. Very, very nice holster. You guys are about to see some video or some uh, photos rolling through of the holster. Let me know what other content you guys would like to see from this. Uh, part of this kind of series has kind of, you know, spawned from my everyday carry video that I did a couple weeks ago, just to show you guys different options that are out there. Um, because there are a lot of options and we need to make sure we're staying with some of the better ones because everybody's making holsters now. Um, you know, you're not going to know the difference of the professional making them or somebody in their mom's basement making them. Something else I want you guys to think about, just because people on YouTube are using these holsters and they're promoting them, a lot of those guys do not carry guns, okay? Um, like the biggest name people who are all using the same one or two holster brands, they're, they're one, they're paid to do it, two, they don't actually carry guns because in situations where I have met them in public, they didn't have a gun on them. So, I don't... I really don't know why I would take advice from them in any situation, but some of you guys still do it anyway and you give them money. So I don't know, it's weird to me. But let me know what you guys would like to see going into the future with it, okay? Also, uh, stay tuned for, I'm gonna start a new interview series as well. Um, as you guys know, I did do an interview with Ben Morgan from Battle on Tactical. Uh, you can find that interview over in my playlist and you guys can see it there. But uh, I'm going to start some more and you guys are going to see some different individuals within the industry who really haven't been interviewed uh, from different companies and things of that effect and kind of seeing their insight on recent events and, and kind of what they're doing moving forward. 
Let me know who you guys would like to have me sit down and talk with, and we'll see what we can do to put that together. As always, guys, stay tuned for more. Make sure you guys keep watching. I'm going to roll some B-roll footage of this holster in here. Stay tuned for more, guys. Sarge out.